Robin Fenty, aka Rihanna, music legend, fashion icon, beauty guru, billionaire bad gal. Can't believe she would still choose to be a baby mama. What's up, you guys? It's your girl Sandra. Welcome back to Sandra Said What. Thank you so much for joining the channel. If this is your first time, we welcome you. And if you are a returning supporter of mine, welcome back and thank you for joining us again. Today, we will be joining. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Today, we are discussing none other than Robin Fenty, um, Beige and Body, Rihanna, my fave, my bestie in my head. Um, okay, so as we know recently, my babes announced that she's having our baby. Okay, I don't care. That's our baby. That's our baby. Okay, she's having our baby with what's the name? ASAP Rocky. Now, there's a lot of controversy with their relationship, especially because of the fact that ASAP himself had made some coloring statements in the past, and Rihanna herself is, you know, a pro black black girl. And you know, some people are like, mm, how could you do that? But we don't really know behind the scenes, and I'm not here to get into that. What I'm get, getting into is since she's announced her pregnancy, a lot of people have been talking about the fact that Rihanna is a baby mom, community baby mom. Like, seriously, you have all this accomplishment, you're very well known, everybody like you, you've got all this money, and you would still settle for being a community baby mom. That's what a lot of people have been saying, not my words, I'm just telling you what, what the streets is saying. Okay, but to me it's like, I don't know how many times I gotta say this. I don't know, I feel like this is something I'm gonna be saying for the rest of my life and it's sad. Listen up closely, please. One time for the one time. One more time. Black women don't owe y'all shit. Black women don't owe y'all marriage. Black women don't owe y'all a career. Black women don't owe y'all speaking well as far as you guys are concerned. Um, black women don't owe y'all shit, including Brianna. Okay, the fact that this woman is so accomplished and chose to have a child with someone she wants to have a child with, that's her business. That ain't got shit to do. Well, she's having our baby. That's his germ, but that's our baby. But still, the fact that people would th th see it fit to categorize her on something that they don't even know about. First of all, we do not know whether or not they're married. We do not know um, if she is indeed a quote unquote baby mama. But it, the fact that this woman would be so accomplished and people would still choose to stigmatize her just shows y'all how racist and anti-black women you guys truly are. Because guess what? Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott have one or two kids now because we know what the streets is saying about that um two children right do we know if they're married no we don't somebody out here calling Kanye Jenner a baby mama no because people only tend to try to stigmatize black people and in this case a black woman even though this woman is accomplished she can have whatever she wants okay if she wants marriage i'm sure she can have it if she doesn't want marriage she doesn't want it the fact that people would actively reduce her, okay, based on the fact that they think she's not married and she's having a child to a baby mama says a lot about the white supremacist values that people hold towards black women that no matter how accomplished we are, that people will still redu reduce us to the lowest lows any chance they get. Did you know that every single white woman who has a child is married to their partner? Oh, you didn't know that? That's because it don't exist. And are people out here calling black women, white women, baby mamas? No. It seems like that term is always used in a derogatory manner towards black women in particular. We're not going to get into the historical context that why this is happening. But it's the fact that y'all are always trying. People, not y'all. People are always trying to hold their white supremacist values on black people on one way or another 
this particular case is a black woman having a child they're trying to hold that white supremacist values to try to force us to behave in a manner that would be approved by white society okay that's all you guys are trying to do whether or not you realize it that's exactly what it is black people black women in particular don't owe y'all shit we don't owe y'all nothing we don't owe anybody anything we can do what we want when we want because we want okay so this is just um i'm not gonna hold you okay rihanna can do what she wants any black woman can do what she wants if she chooses marriage that's her business if she chooses something else that's also her concern the fact that y'all are in billion dollar business billion dollar business okay somebody like people can't even hold a candle to somebody who's immensely talented okay somebody who not only is she doing all these things in music and fashion she's actually a humanitarian in all of the sense that people would dare have the audacity open their dry corner mouth talking about her one thing you're not gonna do don't come for Rihanna okay I'm not saying she's perfect I know she's not but what I'm saying is the fact that again society still will find any reason to reduce a black woman even when she has accomplished the highest of the highs this is the shit we be talking about this is this is the treatment we be talking about this is the discrimination that we be talking about and I know people think oh they mean well you know marriage means more commitment blah 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 it doesn't matter if that's what she wants cool but guess what not every woman wants marriage I hate to break it to y'all y'all don't seem to think that um, ending up having a man is an accomplishment it's not Oh, you need to know I don't we can do what we want when we want so y'all need to stop with the bullshit and go look yourself in the mirror and say I am a white supremacist value holder okay all right not gonna hold you talk to y'all later don't forget follow me on Sandra said what on Instagram <laughs> TikTok comment on this video below yeah don't come for Rihanna that's it and you know, island girls, we stick together. So, bye.